Joining us now, Ohio Congressman, member of the House Intelligence and Ways and Means Committees, Brad Winstrup. Congressman, good to see you. What do you make you. of your a former colleague, Trey Gowdy's comments and the decision to not indict Andrew McCabe? Well, I think he's right about the prospect that there's more to come outside of this realm, especially when it comes to FISA abuse. You know, my dad used to say when we were growing up, I don't care what you did, but if you lie about it, you're in more trouble. Well, apparently that's not the case for some people like McCabe. You know, you just look at what happened with Papadopoulos. He, he got a date wrong and he's prosecuted. You look at, look at Roger Stone and this was basically a non-crime that they were investigating to begin with. And then you look at Flynn and even the FBI said, that he didn't intend to lie, but they're all prosecuted and he's not. Obviously, there's a problem. He, he lied and then he lied about the lie and nothing happens. You know, quite frankly, I don't know how they're going to ever get their reputation back in the FBI and DOJ if they don't clean up their own house and be willing to do this. Maybe in this situation, maybe in this situation, they fear that if you go after this particular set of lies, then you're going to have to talk about the Clinton Foundation even more. Maybe they don't want to go there. I don't know, but there's a lot of questions that uh, need to be answered on this. And, and I do think that Mr. Gowdy is right that there's more to come. Congressman, good morning, Mitch Rochelle. Is it possible in the case of McCabe that with the Durham investigation ongoing that he's either cooperating with Durham or it's the understanding that, there, that the, his other offenses would be picked up as part of the Durham investigation? Yeah, that may very well be the case. I think you raise a good point when that when that stuff happens. You know, we typically don't know about these types of things until after they play out. So so that is a possibility. And so maybe it's it's a situation like you're cooperating. We're going to let this go. But uh, we have more to do. But let's let's be clear that there are some wrongdoings out there. And I think that uh, Durham's going to continue to investigate that. It was very interesting, though, because based on what Jim Comey has said, he his test his what he said about what Andy McCabe did there. They didn't line up. So Jim Comey potentially, if this had gone to trial, would have refuted what Andy McCabe was saying. So that was that was kind of a that's right a, an interesting part of that story. Let's move that's on. That's a key point. Yeah, let's move yeah. on to urging the attorney general to resign. More than 1,100 former Justice Department employees signed a letter calling on Attorney General Bill Barr to step down and for any current Department of Justice employees to report unethical behavior following the Justice Department's decision to propose a sentence reduction for Roger Stone. Congressman, what do you make of this? Again, this is just a sentence recommendation. Right. I think they're making a big deal over nothing, and it's very curious. Where were these prosecutors? When James Comey came out and read off Hillary Clinton's list of crimes and then said no reasonable prosecutor would take up this case. Well, he certainly pleased Loretta Lynch because it took her off the, off the hook and it also took Hillary Clinton off the hook. Where were those prosecutors then? Why weren't they saying then, you have no business to take this on and say that? And in this case of Attorney General Barr, I think he's exactly right. You cannot look at the sentence that Roger Stone got and compare it to other crimes and the punishment that people are getting across this country. It just doesn't add up. And I think he has every right to raise the question. You know, one of the things I'm really curious about with 1,100 folks out there, I think so many people are concerned about the politicization of, of the DOJ now. Don't you think this just adds to the perception that they would put, release a letter like this saying that there's, there's clearly partisanship? Not, not only does it raise that question, but it, what it raises it to me is that most of these are former employees. Are they all that so well connected at this point that they can act in mass like this? It, it's kind of amazing to me. And it, it certainly speaks uh, volumes to the type of club that may exist out there in our agencies. And to me, it is political. They shouldn't be involved either. Aren't they, aren't they doing exactly what they're accusing Barr of doing is getting involved in a situation where they, they probably don't belong? Congressman, good to see you. Thank you for being here. You too. Here. Thank you. Congressman Brad Winstrup.